Hi all, it's Travel Adjacent F. Now, obviously I'm with my little brother, we're still on our travels. Uh, we now, because as you know, we went into the Aomi, I can never say that word properly. Anime and Maid Cafe in Manchester. What we call the B Shop. But yeah, I have put it in the third day uh, travels and you will see it. Well, we bought some drinks to taste. They're all from Japan. Japan. So, let's see what they're like, shall we? But let's, uh, before we do, let's show you what they are. Right, here they are, lined up. We've now We've got this one that we think is blueberry. We think it is, but it's probably raspberry. Orange. Orange, but no, no, luck is probably Coke. Pineapple. That's what he thinks. And watermelon, because it but says watermelon on it. Yeah, well, we know that for certain, because it <laughs> says watermelon. But, yeah, it's still from Japan. It's still from there. Yeah. So we then... And these were two ninety nine each. Yeah, so it's not bad. Now, if you look at the bottles, now, if anybody's a bottle man... Now, you remember, back in, we don't do these bottles no more, but these are actually how we used to do our bottles in the 1800s. You see, if I turn, you know, no, I'm not sure, you should see, there should be a little bottle in there, a little bottle, I mean a little stopper. A marble. A marble, thank you. Mm. I was trying to remember that word. No. But isn't it strange how Japan has kept it how it used to be? But have you just noticed that one's fill up forever, but all these are at a different level. Yeah, <laughs> I think someone's been taking drinks out of our, sips out of our drinks. It's not on, you know, I mean, look. All different levels. But then that's life, I suppose. No, no, like they're probably about 10 years out of date. No, they're all in date. Mm. Yeah. Well... We hope. But yeah, it is. It's they a go, they yeah. go the year, the month, the date. Yeah, so they're all in date. Hang on. Yeah, all yep. in date. Yeah, yes. that's fine. Yep, that's good. Now, Mikel. All right. And this is, even though they tell you how to open these, it's still confusing. Now, he's going to open this one up. If we can. One more. Hey, it's open. But this is where it gets confusing. Now we got to work out how to open this thing up. See, because there's the marble. Yeah, there's marble. Now, what you do. So I've actually bought these before. Oh. In Morrison's, but that was only one flavour. So you put that on there. Like that, so let's do it on the table. Yeah, don't get my bed wet. Get some other bird. Look, it's half empty. Ready? Then. Hang on. Does it does it do any? Does, will these fall off? No, they'll be fine. Says the vicar to them. And yeah. <laughs> I might just... Oh, no, there, he's done it. He's done it. And there's the little marble. And there's a marble. All right, this is either blueberry or maybe bubble gum. Mm-hmm. So what do you taste like? Well... It doesn't taste like blueberry, but it just tastes like sweet. No, all right. All right. All right. My turn. All right. And I'm gonna tend it's wine. You know, obviously it's not. It's Japan. It's not suki either. You know, it's suki. Sucky. Sucky. Mm. Mm. There's a hint of something, but I can't tell you what it is. But let's tell you sweet. It's 
It's very sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. S syrupy. Mm. Reminds me a bit of bubblegum, actually. Very sweet and syrupy, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Poppy is bubblegum. Um, no, it's not. No, it's... it does say blueberry on the, the UK label they put on it, but it don't taste blueberry. It doesn't. It tastes... You've gone out of focus. Yeah, it doesn't... No, it tastes bubblegum. So well, you, you would say that tastes more like bubble gum? Yeah, I'll say that tastes more like bubble gum. Okay. We're going to try the orange one. Mm-hmm. Same process. The fiddly bit. Oh, this comes with a little different kind of thing. Oh, different, uh, eh? Right. Oh, what was that then? Whoa. Don't be f afraid to push down hard. Ain't gonna fall. And straight like that. <laughs> but it fizzled. That one made a bit of mess. And I'm glad it's not on my bed. And look, there's the marble. And yeah. it's actually blue. Yep, that marble is blue. And I hate orange, so I'm probably gonna hate this. Mm hmm. He's not sure you can see it by his face. He's like, oh no, no. I don't think I like that. Oh no. It's. I don't know. It's strange. You can taste the orange, but still very overpowering. Right, right. right. I'll let you try this now, Joe. My turn. Here, we we'll swap the camera around. Cheers. Can't smell anything. You wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I see you. I see a marble. I do, I do. I've never, I don't think I've actually ever drunk out one of these before. Right. Well, I am. Obviously, I only did about 10 seconds ago. It's a blue one. Anyway, let's try this. Now, you said it tastes very like orange juice. To me, it tastes very orange. Orangey and sweety, very sweet orange, mm. like a satsuma. Yeah, satsuma weird. that's just been picked. That's kind of All just right. before its ripeness. Not too sure, but yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I can taste the orange. No, you can taste the orange. But well, I would say, if you're just sucking. A sat tuna. Yeah. yeah. Weak. That's if you gave that to someone as a blind test, they'd definitely be able to tell that was orange. Yeah. That is interesting. Hey, about this. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's moved. It does move. Look. And, it, and it cannot go right down to the bottle, no. and it cannot come all the way out, so there's no choke hazard. Right. Mm. I think that's that taste done. There's that. Now this is pineapple. And once again, Joseph has got a flavour that I don't like. I, I don't just... like pineapple. I don't like orange. I don't like blueberry. Get a flavour I like next time. But I didn't choose. Oh, I choose too, but I won't think. I was just looking at the pretty colours. He was just looking at pretty colours. And so All was shiny. I. shiny. Yeah. Once again, same process. You don't need that. That's on there. Pop! Goes the weasel. And uh, oh, it, no, uh, yep, yeah, didn't go. You can smell the pineapple like it's pineapple pizza. Really? But I don't think oh, I've really actually had... no. I don't think I've had pineapple drink. Except for I had it out of a can when you had pineapple well, slices. Well, actually, that's not too bad. It wouldn't be my first choice, but if I was if I was dying of starvation, 
no, not starvation or thirst, then yeah, it would be a, yeah. A bit of a plan, a cleanser, cleanse for your throat. Mm -hmm. Right, Jerry, you can right. try this construction. My turn now. Turn it around. Right. Let's see what it looks like. I do like how they put little smiley faces on their bottles. Yeah, but they do that with all of it. You it's uh, part of their culture, their yeah. cuteness. You can't... Some of them you could smell, but... I think really. the reason why I could is because it's just where I popped it. It just... You get the oat fragrance quite quick. Hmm. I mean, it says pineapple, but... I can taste the pineapple in that. Like, just like a slice, like a tiny little slice that you get on your yeah, tongue. Yeah. Not overpowering. Not, yeah, I was saying, not overpowering at all. Not overpowering at all. Yeah. It's not bad. Mmm. I wouldn't really, if it, if it was the last one on the shelf... I might have left it. If someone gave it to you and said you got a free drink, would you accept it? Yep, because they would slice my head off. Well, I wouldn't actually. Mm -hmm. you know, but it'd be rude to say no. But yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. You know. Uh -huh. So, they... We've got one more to try. Yep. And that's a nice reddish one. And what's the red one? And that one says watermelon. And, but it doesn't look like watermelon. And do you think it's going to taste like watermelon? Who knows? Let's find out, shall we? Right. Oh. You pause? No. Right. And what? on the fourth one now. Last one. Now I've got to find the opening. And here it is. You can find the cream soda one of these up in Morrison's in the world food section if you do want to try these yourself. But that would be the only flavour that you would find in there. Well, you might have more, but that was my that's my Morrison. So that's in Shipway, Mainstone, Kent, UK. Right. 44. Do you think that's going to fizz over or do you think it's going to stay in the bottle? That's the question. Who knows? The multi million dollar question. And don't forget to give it all your well -o. And no. Right. Watermelon. And I don't like watermelon normally. But I did pick this one. Yes, yeah, see? Because he looked at it, it's all red. And no, pink colour. It doesn't smell nice. Look at that face. No. No, he doesn't no. like that, does he? But I wouldn't even say that it tastes like watermelon. It just tastes sweet, very overpowering sweet. Yeah. Maybe a hint of watermelon. Mm, but I've only just... had a little bit of watermelon in my life. Well, I've been there, I've had a lot of watermelon right. in my life. My brother would be able to tell you if that does taste like watermelon. Yes. Right. Right, my turn now. Really? Go. Alright, my taste now. Yeah. So I think this one was a different make on the other. Brand. brand. Maybe a different brand? Yeah, like we picked the rest of us feel the same brand, and this one's a different brand. That's why it's. As different. far as we know. Yeah. Mm. Don't ask what the names of the brands are because we cannot tell. No. Tastes like watermelon. Mm. Um, no. No? No, I... No, I can't... 
No, I would say that's don't. That's not watermelon. Not watermelon. I bloody I had to eat. Does it remind you of any flavour? Hmm. The truth? No. Just full of sweetness. Yeah. Rarry's, sweetness. Very sweet. Rarry, and fizziness. Yeah, it's very sweet. Go on, me. It's got a bit of an aftertaste as well, actually. I it's kind of a bittery kind of taste. Yeah, it's a bit of an aftertaste on it. That's not what I call it. I think the only representation mm. of that being watermelon then is that it's red. Yeah, and that is about it. Because it has. It's, you know. Mm, yeah, it's. Yeah. But obviously you're not really minding it so much because you've nearly finished the whole bottle. No, no, it is only there. Oh, is it? Yes, that to see. All right. So yeah, mm, that's a taste test. Right, let's and see what scores were. Okay. Right. right, now, lined up in the order that we take drunk them. Now, Mikhail, what score, one out of ten, would you give the blueberry one? I would probably give it a five because to me it didn't taste like blueberry. It just tasted fizzy, sweet, it sweet, more like a syrupy kind of taste, but not very flavour to it. Mm. What about you, Joe? Mm. Yeah, I would say the same. I would about say five. five out of ten. Yeah, yeah. Right. All right. What about, about this, this one? one? I would give that a seven because it did taste like orange. Yeah. It did taste like orange. I don't mind orange as fruit if you're eating orange, but for me, I don't like drinking orange. Mm. So I would give that about. A six, maybe a seven, because it did taste like what it said it was, orange. All right, me, I would go a little bit lower. I would give it a five, because right. I can always taste the orange. Sometimes I could, and sometimes I couldn't. It was Sometimes there was just literally no taste I couldn't feel. But other times, you could get a little hint of orange. So... We're going to go on to our third bottle now. No. Third one. Was the so-called pineapple. Pineapple. Now, for me, once again, that has to be probably a four. Because, one, I don't like pineapple. It tasted like pineapple. So, I didn't like it. It was too sweet. Very overpowering. And that's why I would give it a four, because it weren't enjoyable. Oh. But it was also refreshing. So, if it's for maybe if you're clearing your throat, or as a cleanser, maybe it would work. But just as a fizzy drink that you're having during the day, personally, I would not. What about you, Jay? Um, I don't mind... Pineapple, because I like pineapple on my pizza. Oh. Uh, I, I know. I'm a weirdo. Not like many people do. Yeah. You know? So, my score would be actually higher than his. Mine would be a six. Yeah. You know? Um, it wasn't bad, and it was refreshing, and I wasn't bad at all. Yeah. You know? Anyway, let's go on to the full the and full last one. But not forgotten. No, because how bad it didn't mean taste right. it. I would give that a 2 out of 10. And that's how you've been kind. It didn't taste like watermelon. It, I could really taste the water in it more than anything. And all it represents I from... I don't have an answer for that. Well, my Google decided to actually want to be in this video for you people. So anyway, no, it's just very disappointing. The only thing that it reminded me of watermelon was the colour. And apart as you from, yeah, see. Apart from that, it was very disappointing. Um, what about you? The same. 
and also he, what he didn't say, after you had the swig after a bit, there was a really bitter, bitter taste. taste. So yeah, two. So yeah, you got to try these foreign things out. But I will give them this: it was fun to try them all. Mhm. We didn't get no success that we found a really nice one. No. But. Until you try them, you never know. And the thing is... And you even have a little fun going afterwards. Yeah, the only thing is, after this, we've now got to finish them off. Yeah, so we're the lucky ones. Yeah, so, you know, we're going to enjoy these... Yeah, you, well, nah, they get drunken. Yeah, we may enjoy them. We may not, because being that we don't, you know. Mm. Uh... The uh, so-called watermelon one we'll give to uh, the postman which, down the corner. Now, which two did you buy, Joe? I actually can't remember the two. Because I bought two and Jason bought two. Uh, I think you bought these two. Yeah, I did. And I bought these two. Yeah. Oh, I remember right. The, the made... The, the anime and made... Po- no... The May, the anime and maid calf on the third floor of uh, second. Over the second or third. Second floor of uh, where Manchester shop is, and they do everything there, even the bubble tea, and that is and good. and what bubble tea did you try early on? I tried chocolate, it was chocolate milk with peach bubbles, but to be fair, they weren't bubbles, so there was only sli- They were sliced. They were sliced, so you might as well say sliced tea. Yeah. Uh. But they do everything in there. They, they do mm-hmm. do the food, so if you want us to try some Japanese or foreign food, then put a like and a comment and subscribe. And then we'll grab some and we can try that maybe in either in a future video. Yes. And obviously when we're talking about it's dry food in packets. So like, no, we can't have we can't eat crickets or like off the sweets. Sweets, crisps, maybe and some other stuff that we can uh, try and get. Yes. Alright. Alright. Now Time to finish these. Yep. So, we'll bye see you for, later. Bye bye bye. Now, we're going to see what it looks like taste and tastes like, like when we mix the buggers. If we mix them all together. Right. So, obviously, as you can see, I've just done this one. Yep, the so called blueberry. Berry. Now, let's add some orange. And it still looks. Oh, I think it's gone green. It's going a bit of a. That's gone, that's gone green. Yeah. That has. Now we're adding some pineapple. Like, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Yeah. Blink, blob, blink. Now, is it going to go in another different colour? It's going more of a lighter green. Oh, it's going more green. Alright. Maybe me wonder. Now we're going to... Now we're going could. to add some red. Yep. What, so called Some watermelon. watermelon. So what colour is that? Oh, it's gone oh, red. Oh, purpley. Oh, what's that? Oh, no, yeah, it looks a bit... Now, if I get a spoon, quickly... Now, that, now on naked eye, it looks purple, but by camera, that looks a darkish red. Right, well, I cannot find a spoon in this hotel room. Right. So, right, now, so this little cup, it's got a dash of blue blueberry ramen soda, orange ramen soda, pineapple ramen soda, and so-called watermelon flavoured ramen soda. Oh, that watermelon, you can still smell the watermelon. Right, wish me luck, people.
all you can taste is that watermelon. Everything else is cancelled out after that. Mm -hmm. Alright, Jay. Your turn. If we haven't had punishment enough. Done. Alright. My turn. Hmm. Interesting. It looks like a Coca-Cola flavour. Flat. Yeah, very flat. Flat Coca-Cola. Uh, Go on, take a big swig so you get all the flavours. What flavours? Swig. Oh, I tasted bloody watermelon. Goggle. They That's... told me a big swig, so I finished it. Oh, you can taste this, the watermelon. Yeah, you can. But was it how we did it? So let's pause the video. Right. Now, we're, we're going to put them in a different order. We're going to do it in the reverse order. First order obviously went that way. So now we're going to do it this way to see if it is mm. overpowering it. So first. A bit, because if it's overpowering, we don't want much of it. And then, pineapple. I do feel like singing a certain song, but I won't. Yeah, no, we don't make, we don't want to be copyrighted. Now, orange. And it's actually the ego in a different colour this time. Yep, yeah, it is. And the final one. But. It's gone to the colour. Yep. Yeah. And. All I can smell is watermelon again. Mm. Alright. Wish me luck, people, for the second time. Watermelon. Watermelon and bitterness. As mm. silly as it is. Alright, Joe, you can have your try. Go. Go yeah, that's all you can smell with watermelons. Yeah, it's must be a very strong flavour in it. But yeah, you get, you can smell it. You can. Yeah, it's not what well called. You know, like we said, that watermelon flavour is. Yeah, it's. It's overpowering. Yeah. It's too many. I think it's too much artificial flavour. Yeah, probably is. It's not great. Well, we all say that. Uh, <laughs> mm, it's not the best flavour you can get in this, you know, but oh well. You know, but that's life, isn't it? But yeah, well, we're going to do another bit, another experiment. Right, now, now we're going to see what it tastes like without... The watermelon. Yes. So the watermelon is not getting added to this third cup. The only ones that are getting added is these three. Mm. Right. So some so-called blueberry. What does look like WKD? Now, some of this. It's gone green. It's gone turquoise. Right. right, now you see that colour. But before we do that, we're going to try something else. You see, we're going to do... We're going to do a colour test. So, we do that one. I think he did about that much, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, right. And now we're going to go orange. All right. Uh, all right, and here we go. Alright, I think about that much. Right, and the final one is that one. Now, what you reckon? Will it go to the same colour? Uh, yep, and same yeah. colour. Right. right, as let's you first see, try this one. Mm hmm. Ooh. Smells, smells like a sweet shop. All right, but it smells just sweet. So, when you go into a, an old fashioned sweet shop.
Oh no. It just tastes very sweet. I can taste the pineapple slightly. Yeah. And... Yeah, I can taste the pineapple very slightly. Yeah. But I wouldn't say anything else. You have a go, Jay. You mm. try this one. Mm-hmm. Right. Go. <sighs> this is a little bit like talk show, tell you the truth. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'm really, tell the truth, I really don't want to try this, but... But, go knees, on. But, knees must. Ah. Uh, He's doing this all for you, people. And you see you can taste her. Yeah, like a like like a tiny mm. bit. Yeah. Not really. Um don't know. I don't know if they're... Like an aftertaste. Yeah, like a leftover pineapple bean you got. That you got stuck in between mm. your teeth. Yeah. Hmm. That reminds me. Remember what your mother always said, clean your teeth after eating, right? So do as you're told, or you have a big dentist bill. Right, Furus? Yep. Clean your teeth. Mm hmm. And the most funniest thing is that looks like the mouthwash that you can get. Yes. The same colour. And it tastes the same as well, actually. I never know, maybe they get Japanese import stuff and mix it up. Yep. Right. Right. Pause. Now we're going to do the last test and we're just going to use the orange and so-called pineapple. So the orange... So Macy, the blueberry is now retired with that. So now we're just going to try these two. Yes, and mix them. So... Not a lot left in there, look at that drip. And it's empty. There's only downsides to having a marble. It blocks it up. Yeah. Right, there's that one gone. Big no, hole. that's gone. And you see, it's not a left in there. And this looks like it's got a dribble in it as well. So, not a lot. So, there's them two. Yep. And that's just really got a golden colour. <laughs> so... <laughs> As you all know, they taste. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> now, it smells fruity, but I think it would be when them two are fruits. Yeah. Now. That's not bad, but it's very overpowering. You could have like a tipple of that, but a tipple of your choice. Right, Jay? You can try that one. All right. Go. All right. You, you know, it's more, it's a lot more stronger. Hmm. Well, I admit, them two together, a bit of more better taste, actually. Yeah. Uh, but you spend six quid for two bottles to mix them up to get a nice taste. Mm, Definitely no. not worth it. No. Uh, no, it's definitely... It's, it's better than it, like, I'll admit, these two on their own don't taste too bad. But you do know what we got to do with the next test. It's put uh, blueberry and the red one together. <laughs> I don't think that's going to taste very nice, but we'll... We'll give it, we'll it, a, give go. it a go. So I'll finish this block off. Right, I'm going to down this one, so then we've got two glasses. Down it. Well, that tasted actually all right like that because you didn't get much time to actually taste your taste buds. No. Yeah. And the thing is, you think we're actually having alcohol. But we're well, not. Well, I suppose you could add, like, some spirit to these if you wanted to. But they're not. I don't know what they, they would taste like. They're so You'd have to let us know. They're so they're like drinks. mixers. So. So, add some blue. Mm-hmm. As you can see, and that's and all. It's... That's gone. Cool. 
Now the dreaded watermelon. Yes. Mm. Now this is probably going to taste like watermelon because watermelon is overpowering and everything. But that's nice purple. I think that's the same colour as my hair purple. And actually, but that bit there. Bit there. Fucking hell. Part of my French. Uh, I think you put dye in that. Yeah, right. It's the same colour. Yeah, it smells like watermelon. And it probably tastes like watermelon. And it probably tastes like it. Because it's too old powering. Oh, well, that is just revolting. It, you get an aftertaste of watermelon. But before then, it's just a really just disgusting taste. Ugh. Right, Jay? You got something to enjoy? Okay. Alright. Hmm. Watermelon. Doesn't smell very nice. It doesn't smell nice, but you can smell yeah. the watermelon. Hmm. Oh well, that's life, isn't it? I think. Alright. Anyway. Stop talking and get on with it. Yeah. An aftertaste of watermelon. <laughs> Name it. Oh, that watermelon. Uh, a tip. No, actually, it's our opinion. In our opinion, we never buy the watermelon one again. Yep. I actually, to tell you the truth. Probably we probably going. won't buy none of them again. No, we'll go for other flavours. So, well, I think there was eight altogether. Yep. So, mm. I'm going to finish this off because it's only fair. All right. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did that taste like? Mouthwash. No, I actually didn't really taste like mouthwash. But... It just tasted very... Just too sweet. Yeah, yeah, right. I think they're just too sweet. And they yeah. need some more flavour to them. Yeah, except for the watermelon. The watermelon needs less flavour. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. 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 Well, if you liked these tasters, give this channel a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. So we can do more of these types of videos for your enjoyment, because we only do them for your enjoyment. Alright. We'll catch up with you later. Morning all. It's Travels with Jason, F. And me, yep, we are uh, it's day five. Uh, it's our next travel day. We're from going from Manchester to Edinburgh, what is four hours and 15 minutes long. You yeah, well, should be if we get on the tour pass one train. We're hoping we can no, jump he's on. hoping, no, he's hoping because no, he's you're back, hoping. You know. If we can get on the half past twelve one, it will only be three hours and thirty four minutes long. Yeah, so only forty five uh, minutes difference. Yep, so it's quicker. But no no luck, we won't Probably be able can't. to. So we gotta go out in a minute, post a parcel, uh probably grab some lunch and that for the train journey and some bits and pieces. And then come back, get our luggage, and off we go to the uh, train station. Yep, yeah, Manchester Victoria train station we've got to go to. Not Piccadilly. Yep. Yeah. So, really nice day out there. Bit cloudy. Yep, yeah, but it's burning off. And then, well, another day. Keep tuning in for more.